Good afternoon. So we just heard from Principal Webb, New Hope Elementary is going to be fabulous. And it's pretty clear we have a fabulous leader in Laura. I, I think everybody wanted to applaud when she got done. So I really don't think that's a problem if we wanted to applaud. That was awesome. So now it's our job as a staff, at least at this point, uh, to submit to you a, uh, a draft of a new, newly districted map that will not only populate New Hope, but also alleviate overcrowding at several of our elementary schools. Want to apologize. Um, I'm going to have to go back through, and I'll do it very quickly, I promise, the PowerPoint that I shared a month ago that shows the overview of this, but they wanted to capture this for video so that we could post this tomorrow with the new district line. So I will do that, and then I'll, then I'll flash up there the, uh, the new map. So let's see here. Okay, so I'll go quickly through this again. The two purposes for our redistricting this, this time around is to relieve overcrowding at existing elementary schools and to populate New Hope, which is scheduled to open next August. These are the elementary schools. If you look at the, um, at the draft map, uh, these will be the elementary schools that are, that are going to be affected by this. I always kind of leave open that disclaimer that not limited to in case as feedback comes in and as you as you look at these plans, if, if others are to be affected, then we'll deal with that accordingly. But this is what we anticipate from our from our work with facilities, that the ones that will be impacted. Uh, here's the timeline. So here we are on October 12th, uh, presenting to you the draft map. And we will be putting this video out along with the draft map uh, this week. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have that up. And we will start the collection of data on that for you uh, and feedback. I'll get it to you as, we, as it comes in. I uh, know October 18th or next Monday, uh, you have a public forum uh, to, again, in person, collect feedback from our community. That will be at Central High School at 6 p.m. And then when we get to November, based on all those recommendations and any adjustments that we have to make, we'll uh, propose any changes to this original map. And then you'll have that to vote on uh, in November. All uh, right, I'll click onto that in just a second. Just a reminder, I think it's very important to put this out, that in the first year of New Hope, uh, all those schools affected by redistricting at the elementary level, rising fifth graders will be eligible for an out-of-district waiver. And if they opt to stay at their original school, their siblings may stay, but just for one year. In both of those cases, and I can't emphasize this enough, uh, and I'll still get a million phone calls, I'm sure, but if they do choose to do that, they must provide their own transportation. So uh, it's just vitally important that, that we get that message out to, to everybody. So rising fifth graders may stay. If they have a sibling, a little brother, a little sister, they can stay for just one year, and all of them that, that choose an out-of-district must provide their own transportation. And then these are all the ways that we'll be putting the word out. And this is, in fact, the newly drafted map that I think you all have your own copy up there. Uh, but that, as you can see, uh, let's get down here. I'm scrolling slowly through this so it captures it on whatever video we need it captured on. Um, okay. And so that is... Again, it your hands for your review, and this is what we'll be putting out for um, for public feedback. Okay, so that's redistricting. No elementaries, or excuse me, no middle schools, no high schools are being proposed for any line changes this year. And I think my next topic, I think I'm next next on the agenda for the calendar. Any questions or comments about what you just had presented to you? What's the date for the submitting? Public comment, the last uh, the 27th is the is the final date for that of October. Yep. So they'll have from tomorrow to the 27th. So yes, we're alleviating overcrowding in several of those schools, and we're putting some students into Bee Creek Elementary because their numbers have been lower than than they should be. Yes. Yep. Yes. We I I focused all on on that with um, obviously with New Hope, but yes, the other school that we, that we talked about last month and that we do have in this draft map. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, is to relieve some of the overcrowding at Brandywine and to move some of those to uh, Big Creek Elementary, which has really shrunk in the, in the last several years. Yes, ma'am. It's important that yep. parents put their, people put their input into the survey so that it, by putting their information into the survey, 
not only all, all board members will see that information, but all the staff who need to see that to make potential changes. If they put into the survey, everybody sees the same thing. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Thank you. Absolutely. Any other questions? And we make it clear, we do look at the comments on there and look at it. We and all look at every single one. Yep. And speaking of public feedback, I'll shift now to the calendar for 2023-2024 school year, which is hard to imagine we're saying that, but um, uh, we've, we've given the, the local school councils, as has been our tradition, a sneak preview of that. Uh, so they've had it and our, and our principals have had it. We submit that to you today and we'll be, and we've given that to our cabinet today as well, but that'll be released to the public um, this week. And that's, again, the calendar for 23-24 school year. That'll be posted on our website. That'll remain there uh, until October 27th. And um, again, we'll be, we'll be taking that feedback in and, and adjusting. As I've, I've already heard some feedback just from the local school councils that, that merit some good look at that. And I'm, I'm sure we'll be tweaking the calendar from the version you see now. But we'll be working on that over the course of uh, the next couple of weeks as well. And the date for final uh, version of that would be November 9th. We would submit the, the final version of that for your consideration. Okay. Any questions? All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thanks. Next up is.